Hello and welcome to Rick's Kits, the uh, second part of the um, psychedelic 60s group build hosted by at 60s Rule, uh, Dan the Man, excellent group build, quite a lot of people in this group build now, um, it's looking very very interesting with some of the vehicles. <clears throat> Excuse me, some of the vehicles that are being brought on. So it should be a very, 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 very interesting group build. I'm pleased for him. I got a shop card in today, all the way from America, and it's complete with stickers. And it's Mr. Brian, BG Model Workshop. That's a beautiful looking car, isn't it? Nice paint job on that one. Thank you, Brian. Thank you for the kind words on the back. Appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to BG Model Workshop, go and subscribe. I highly recommend it. Man does a varied selection of models. He's got very varied interests. A little bit like myself. So, um. Yeah, get over there, subscribe to him, like his videos, share his videos, great guy, lovely wife, goes out and does some videos for him as well, can't remember her name unfortunately, I'm very sorry Brian, but yeah, get over there, subscribe to BG Model Workshop, worth, worth its weight in gold that one, um, so Without further ado, let's uh, crack on and show you what I've got so far. Mm -hmm. We've been working on the um, interior. I don't know if it's a bit too light for you or whatever to see at this moment in time. Uh, let's try turning this one down a fraction. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so we've got most of the, well, say most, that is nearly all of the interior apart from the uh, uh, steering column and dashboard and the overhead panel. So we've got the two seats in the front. Um, I went with a light blue white and you can see there we go that looks better doesn't it and red piping around the outside of those seats so that's the uh those are the mod colors um we've got to do a bit of touch-up painting on the handbrake and the gear shifter on the in inside seat We've got almost blue uh, with grey piping. Can't really tell. So this is a decal. And then in here, we got the engine. Just see it few decals on there, the exhaust, etc. Uh, we've done a bit of painting underneath. Not a lot. And that's most of the interior. Give me a hand on it. Um, worked on the steering column. And dash, will we get this in focus? There you go. No, gone again. Come on. A lot of decent work done on that. <clears throat> no, it's not going to focus, I don't think. But again, it's blue. Uh, decals are a little bit of pain in the arse on this kit, I must admit. Some go down really nice, like, like the black one that's in the middle there. But then you've got the ones on the dials. Just want to sit. 
I meant to do three or four attempts to get the little one in the end there. Again, a little bit of touch up painting on that he was doing. Um, I did think I would be a little further on than what I actually am, uh, but I had catastrophe with the paintwork on the body. <clears throat> It um, basically orange peeled pretty badly, um, so I've had to, so I had to strip it all back down and repaint it. It's currently still sitting drying. It's been like that for a couple of days. It's a little bit cold down here, so it's it's taken a little bit longer to dry. So hopefully it will be ready to ready for me to deal with this section here which is putting the bodywork together on the bus and chucking the interior and everything together on the bus um, and then we're very very close uh, we've got the wheels four wheels done with a white got a red and let's stick it in there got a red hubcap to go in there as well um, I haven't put the decals on the wheel for the white walls. I did try uh, applying white paint myself to that, but uh, it didn't work out. So I'm going with just a plain look wheel. And uh, still like these. Got to paint the... The w on that uh, hubcap but yeah four of them wheels really nice um then we got the uh, shot that's the overhead panel that sits in the top of the van uh radio mirror mirror's got to be painted that's that's that um bumpers Front bumper, all in gloss white. Same with the rear bumper, all in gloss white. Um, these are primed, these are the wing mirrors, got to do these uh, chrome at the top. Black and red on the bottom. You got the V-dub sign, it's on the front of the bus in white. This is... Uh, the blue one of the blue doors and it's got a bright white interior um so yes i am very very close finishing this up very possible i might get it done today but we'll soon find out if not i'll be posting this video another day and uh just got all the chrome work to do and the glazing. Anyway, further ado, I'm going to close this one off. But let me show you. That's a fingerprint, so that is my problem. I was going to rub that anyway. We've got a massive problem here where the doors don't line up. See, that should be further over. So you can imagine my disheartenment when uh, I attach those doors to see that because I needed to put the decal on. I mean, the decals were coming out lovely. None of the none of the decals coming out really nice. Everything was coming out now really nice. I'd do this two or three times because we had severe. And everything was coming out so well. So and uh, basically what occurs if I can get this on. Um, 
Jeez, come on. Right. So the adorable alignment can be brought into play there. As long as you can pull it down on it, it's, that'd be fine. Not the, that's not the issue. Issue, you can just make it out here, even though it's fuzzy. Right, just here. There's a gap, you see it? And that runs all the way across front of the bus which then means when you try and attach the doors Fitment issue again here. Yeah. Right, sits nicely on the front. So right. I am thinking, and the other the other side's worse. Absolutely atrocious. So, yeah, bit disappointed, but there is some good news. Found another kit online. And I've ordered it. Uh, hopefully it will be here. So that, see the gap there. That's if you that's if you get that correctly lined up on the front. That's the massive gap at the back. So I think I might be able to pull it all down with pressure, but it's going to look a little bit terrible. I think what I'm going to do wait for this new van to turn up. See if I can get all this seating and stuff out without having to redo all that again. This door's open lovely. Um, <clears throat> and build on from there with the new kit. Oh, doors to open. Very good. Hey ho, that's the way the modelling goes. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Wait for this new kit and start again. But to me, there's a warpage in that chassis somewhere that's caused all this. So there is. Thanks for watching. I will get back to you in another video. Uh, when I get the when I get the new kit in. So happy modelling. See you in the next video. Bye for now.